Good morning. So before we get started, if you all please could just shut your laptops, go ahead and place them down by your feet. We will uh, utilize those here near the end of the presentation. Welcome to Highlands High School. You are the graduating class of 2025. So aren't you excited? Yes, yes you are. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the scheduling process, okay, and we're going to talk also about the opportunities that you're going to have here at Highlands High School as you're moving forward your high school career. Now, the scheduling document. So each one of you and your parent or guardian should have received a letter home. And in this letter, we also had a pink copy planning guide for you to look at, okay? And this kind of breaks down the classes that you are going to be looking at for taking as a freshman here at Highlands. Your teacher recommendations for the 21-22 school year are in your Infinite Campus portal, okay? So this is your core classes. So your English teacher, your math teacher, and your um, science they have already recommended you for the classes that they believe that you should be placed in for next year. So, for instance, if you're in your English class, your English teacher that you have now has either recommended you for English 1 or English 1 Advanced. Okay? So, you have to go into your Infinite Campus to go ahead and see what those recommendations are. Also available as you start to look at different classes for yourself, we have the course catalog that can be accessed through our website that I will show you here soon, how to access. Also, we have scheduling.hhsbirds.com that actually stores all of our scheduling information for you all. So here is our counseling page at the high school. And for you to go ahead and access the course catalog. Now the course catalog for next year is still being finalized. However, you can utilize the, the course catalog that we currently have. All of the classes that um, we offer here and the descriptions are in this. So if you are looking at classes, you're not really sure what they are or what they, um, what kind of, um, what they cover, you can look in the course catalog and it will show you all those things. So first off, who is your school counselor? Okay, we are very fortunate here at Highlands High School to have four counselors. So this is how we are broken down. If your last name begins A through G, you have Mrs. Schnitzler, who's over here in the corner. Okay, if your last name is H through P, you are with me, Mrs. Listerman. And then last names Q through Z is Mrs. Thomas. Where's Mrs. Thomas? She's in the back waving. Okay, and then we also have Mrs. Trinity Walsh, who is our college and career counselor. So as you're going through high school and as you start to do some career exploration, looking at colleges, starting to go through the college process, we also have Mrs. Walsh to utilize. So kind of looking at a timeline of what we're looking at here when we're talking about coming and getting you into transitioning to the high school. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and have what's our one-on-one -on -one meeting. So you, your parent, or your guardian, and then with your assigned counselor, we are going to sit down and meet with you individually. Okay, we're going to look at your planning guide, look at the classes that you've been recommended for, talk through those things, answer questions. Okay, what are you looking at? Now, many of you coming in as a freshman may not know exactly career paths or those things. But that is where we're going to come and help guide you and work with you to get you on that right path. Okay? So February 9th through February 20th, you, um, if it's during school hours, okay, you will get a pass from um, the off your office, and then you will come to over to the high school, and you will meet in our office. Your parent will then have a link, and they will zoom into the meeting. If you meet, some of our meetings are outside of school hours and on a Saturday. If yours is during that time, you will just meet virtually with your parent from home. Okay? So the meetings are scheduled 15 minutes. Now, a key to this, there is no party scheduling. 
So it doesn't matter if you're scheduling February 9th or if you're scheduling February 20th. Everybody has the same access to all the, uh, the classes. There is nobody that's going to get priority over another. So make sure that you note that. Okay, so all students will receive the same consideration for scheduling requests. And then I talked about how you guys will get your note, we'll send you down to the office. Again, make sure that you note that um, if you are outside of school hours for your appointment, you will chime in through virtually. One other thing that I want to say with weather also, um, next week's not looking too good with the way that the weather is with uh, supposed to be really, really cold. So if we're on a delay or if we happen to have a snow day or a nice day, we're still going to hold our appointment. So if you have an appointment, you will just do that from home virtually. Just note that, okay? This is a link that, um, it's a short link to if uh, the bookings of your meeting. So if your parents haven't had an opportunity or your guardian to book your one-on-one -on -one meeting, this is the link that you can go to to do that. Okay, so let's talk about the steps of scheduling. So first and foremost, we want you guys to definitely review what you have been recommended for. So when you go onto your Infinite Campus account, it's very important that you sit down and talk with your parents or your guardian in regards to what you have been recommended for, okay? So you will be recommended for either English 1 or English Advanced. You all will take Intro to Physics or Intro to Physics Advanced. Your math, that's going to depend on the math track that you're on, okay? So if you, some of you may already be taking Algebra 1. Some of you may already be in Geometry, so it really depends on what track you're in. And then you have electives. This is where the planning guide, it's that pink sheet that I talked about earlier that was sent home already to your house that you need to look at. On the back of that sheet, there are all the electives that freshmen have an opportunity to take. So when you are going over this, again, I really encourage you to do this with your parent or guardian. Make sure that you write the course number, course title on your planning guide. So when you come in and we meet, we already have that because again, we have a 15 minute time frame and we want to be able to utilize that time. So if you already have that planned, then we can keep moving on. Also, select alternatives. This is very important, okay? You have, we, we want you to put in your top choices of your electives, okay? And we do try the best that we can to get you into those electives. However, sometimes depending on the classes that you're taking, they may not fall. So we ask that you put at least two alternatives. And these are classes that you are open to take if we can't get you into your top choices. Okay, we do need at least two of those. So please have those on your planning sheet as well. Again, please utilize the course catalog on our page, the school, high school counseling webpage. If you have questions, you're looking for descriptions, or you need a little bit more information about those classes. The scheduling.hhsbirds.com, again, is a great resource. So I can't say that enough, that if you go, it's going to have all the information when it comes to the scheduling and the process. One other thing, and this is very important, that scheduling choices are final, okay? Because we have to, we are trying to get everybody's schedule and get you what you want. So when you put in your request, we're building our schedule for that. So please make sure that you really are putting a lot of um, consideration into what you are choosing when you decide what classes you want to take for next year. Okay, so here at Highlands, we have a, we have a plethora of opportunities for everyone here. We have advanced curriculum. We have CTE pathways, dual credit, which is also basically college. You're taking college courses, earning college credit here at the high school level. All right, we have an area technology center. Maybe as a junior or senior, you want to go and learn a trade, go into automobile um, technology, go into electricity, and be certified in some type of trade. We have launch at 20 grand, another opportunity to learn in kind of a different learning environment work with outside business partners, um, and you are off campus for half the day. 
So our goal is to make sure the students have access to all kinds of opportunities. And all of you are different, and so all of you are going to have different pathways, and we want to have as many opportunities as we can for you all. So when you do meet with your counselor, make sure that you talk and ask these questions in your one-on-one, -on -one in particular, about these, these opportunities. Now, many of these opportunities are going to be kind of as you go along in high school, but they're also very important to note as you're planning ahead for that four-year plan. Okay, make high school count, okay? You guys are gonna have so many more courses to choose from. Coming from eighth grade, you're kind of told what classes you're taking, right? All right, high school, it's different. You got a lot more opportunity, a lot more things. So if you're looking at things that you're interested in, all right, we have all kinds of different areas. New teachers and classmates, you guys are gonna have six or seven different periods a day. Six, seven different teachers. All right, so you are going to be moving throughout the day, meeting new people. You may have been with all of these students for what, the last at least three years, and then the others through whatever elementary you came through. But now at the high school level, you're gonna be in and out of so many different classes and you're gonna be still meeting so many new people. Extracurricular activities between our clubs, our sports, theater, music, film. We have all kinds of great variety for you. Okay, we do have a greater emphasis on our academic achievement. We take great pride here at Highlands High School in how we do academically. We push our students to strive because we want nothing but the best for you. More social events. Yeah, we're a little bit down this year because of the pandemic, but we're hoping to get back to some normalcy here soon. Okay, there is a greater consequence for failing classes. Okay, we don't just hold you back a year. Okay, we're going to push you. You're going to if you, have to, if you fail a class, you're going to have to retake that class. You just don't get to let it go, okay? There's also a greater need for time management, management and organization, okay? With six or seven classes, okay, you guys are going to have homework. You're going to have to be able to organize your time. So these are things that we will be able to, as your school counselors, share techniques, different things that you can do. But this is something that you're really going to have to put a lot more effort into. High school is a whole nother game. So what is the basic graduation requirement? Okay, so for you to graduate from Highlands High School, you have to have at least 22 credits. Okay, so this is kind of the breakdown. Every year you're going to have English regardless. Okay, math for credits. Now some of you say, okay, I'm taking Algebra 1 this year and I'm getting a high school credit. Yes, but you still have to have a math every year you are in high school, okay? Science, three credits. Visual and performing arts, okay, you have to have one. So you can take that at any point in high school. That can be a choir class, that can be a theater, that can be band, that can be film. So there's a lot of different areas. When you decide to take that, you will talk in your one-on-one -on -one meeting about that. You have health as a half a credit in PE, which you all will take care of next year. And then you have six elective credits. Again, utilize that course catalog to see all the different options that we have. So this is the Kentucky's pre-college curriculum. And really this kind of goes on what I just spoke of. The main difference is adding that world language, okay? So here at Highlands, you're gonna get the four English credits. Math, your four, your Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and then depending senior year, your math could be, you all could be in different math, okay? Depends on the path that you're on. Science, you'll have Intro to Physics next year, Biology sophomore year, and then Chemistry senior year, or I'm sorry, junior year. Senior year, you don't have to have a science. However, we have wonderful science opportunities. If you're looking to go into medical, something medical, science related, we have all kinds of other science options that we would encourage you to take. Social studies, you have, next year you guys don't have to take a history. Woohoo! Maybe for some of you. So, but sophomore year you'll have world history, junior year US, and then senior year government. There's also AP opportunity, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. Again, you have your health and your PE which you'll take care of next year, your fine art, world language. So here at Highlands, we offer Spanish and we 
Hamburger, off of German, okay? Now, you want to go to a four-year college. They do expect to see at least two consecutive years of a foreign language. So, a lot of kids say, do I have to have foreign language to graduate? No, but we do encourage because if you are looking to move on and go to a four-year accredited college, you need to have two consecutive years at the high school level. And then your five elective credits. So AP courses, what is AP? Okay, this is an advanced placement program that is governed through what's called the College Board. AP courses are, they are college level courses. Okay, so students will then, you will take the course through the year. There is an exam at the end of the year. Okay, now you can score between a one and a five. If you score a three, four, or five on that exam, you can earn college credit. Okay? Now, let's say you take AP Lang junior year and you earn your English 101 credit. That means you don't have to take that in college. Do you know how much money you just saved? Think about that. Okay? So, if you're taking these classes and earning these college credits, that's how you make college, because college is very expensive, you're going to start saving that money. So why take AP? Okay, obviously what I just said. And then you're earning, already earning college credit toward high school. We have students that graduate Highlands High School that go into their first year in college as a sophomore, okay, or a second semester freshman. So think about some of the opportunities that you can take advantage of here at Highlands in moving forward to that next level, okay? And then also, I mean, it definitely is going to prepare you for those college level courses because they are college courses. So what is the benefit for taking AP courses? This also is a major piece when it comes to you standing out at the college level. Okay, when you guys are applying to college and you're like, yeah, that's, Ms. Listerman, that's four years away. Yes, it is, but those four years come quick and what you do and start the first day of school next year is going to start counting, okay? So, what the college admissions is seeing, you're earning that college credit. You can get out of college quicker and cheaper, okay, and you're building those college skills. So, if you have questions about the AP, talk to your counselor. We can answer those questions for you. So, do you guys have AP opportunity as freshmen? Absolutely. So, let me talk to you and share with you some of those. AP computer science options. So if you are into programming, digital information, AP Computer Science Principles might be a class for you. This would be an elective course, so this would take one of your electives, okay? So the internet, digital information, algorithms, and programming, data privacy, building apps. So if that is something that you're really interested in and feel you're pretty confident and good at, this is an opportunity to take college credit as a freshman. The other computer science is computer science A, and this focuses more on the programming, Java, okay? So if you are confident in programming and interested in this, this might be a class that you really want to look into. The end of the year, there is that exam, and it kind of breaks you down what that exam looks like. Those end of the year AP exams are um, about three hours each. So they are, you know, kind of like a standardized test in length. But you have an opportunity to make that college credit happen for yourself. Another AP option for you is AP Human Geography. As I stated earlier, you don't have to have a history your freshman year. But if you like history, and this is something that you'd be very interested in, this is another great course. Okay? So AP Human Geography, it's not only talking longitude and latitude, okay, but it's also talking about different cultures, populations, languages, religion, folk, all kinds of different wonderful areas for you to learn about in the human geography class. Another college class opportunity that you guys could take advantage of next year. Okay, now you also have an opportunity to go into some type of pathway here at Highlands, okay? When you get to the college level, you're gonna go into and study some type of major, right? You have that opportunity to kind of do that here at Highlands High School. So what does that look like? So maybe you have a particular pathway that you're interested in. 
okay? Accounting, do you like numbers? Do you wanna go into maybe be an accountant? Go into the banking system, all right? Administrative support, entrepreneurship, okay? Are you creative? Do you wanna go and start something new of your own? Engineering and tech, we also have college level courses within that program. Consumer and family management, culinary, foods, maybe you wanna be a chef. They have great programs here. Early child education, work with young, young preschool students, okay? Fashion interior design. So we have a lot of different pathways that you can start as a freshman and move yourself forward. Other upper class opportunities. I talked about that dual credit a little bit earlier, okay? We partner with multiple universities and colleges here in the area with, uh, to take college classes. So as an 11th and 12th grader, you guys are gonna have that opportunity if you want to take college classes, okay? Again, you are going to, we have classes that are offered here at Highland that you would take that have, are from through Northern Kentucky University. We also have online courses through Thomas More College, uh, WKU, EKU. So you're gonna have all kinds of opportunities when you are an 11th and 12th grader, okay? Launch is another program, 11th and 12th grade, where you would spend half your day off campus over at Launch, which is on 20 grand. And that is a different learning style, okay? Right now, we have four different flight paths, entrepreneurship, app development, health innovations, or business analytics. And within these pathways, there are also dual credit options to earn that college credit, okay? Also, the vocational school. So if you are more of a hands-on learner and you want to kind of get into some, some type of trade, maybe, maybe you want to be an electrician, maybe you want to go into carpentry, build things, be a masonry. We always need those, okay? I can't speak enough about trades because they're important. You're always going to need an electrician, right? You're always going to need someone to work on your car. So if that is something maybe you're interested in, this is an opportunity as an 11th and 12th grader, okay? These are the programs that they, that they have. This is held at Campbell County School, High School's campus. We bus students over there and bus them back. So there's welding, information technology, automotive collision repair, automotive technology, electric, electrical technology, health science, masonry, carpentry. So if this is something you're like, hey, that might be a good thing, get hands on, you work, they actually get you a job and you start working, maybe an internship, note, you have to make sure you take care of that fine art your freshman or your sophomore year, okay? So if that is something that's on your radar, I would go ahead and take that fine art that first year. Early bird, all right. So I see we got some early birds over here looking a little sleepy. You guys okay? He's turning around looking like she's not talking to me. Okay, so what's early bird classes? Okay, this is an opportunity that you can take advantage of on a typical school day we have six periods. If you are an early bird and want to take an extra class, you can do early bird and have seven classes. Some of you may say, why would I do that? Well, because, again, going back to what I said earlier, all those opportunities in those different classes, some of you may say, well, I want to take that, that, and that. You can if you take early bird, okay? So if that is something that you are interested in, we can make that happen for you. We have many students that take advantage of that here at Highlands, and they start their day at seven, and then they go through the rest of the day, okay? So here's, this is just a breakdown for you to see in a visual about what is the classifications and how does this work, all right? So as a freshman, okay, you have to earn at least five credits to be considered a sophomore. Now, think about it though. You are going to have six classes, maybe seven, if you take early bird. And if you pass all of them, you're already ahead of the game, right? As a sophomore, to become a junior, you have to earn at least 10 credits. And then as a junior to a senior, you have to have at least 16. And then to graduate, 22 credits. Now, do the math. If you take six classes every year, you pass them all, you're going to graduate with well over what you need. And that is the goal, okay? Class rank and GPA. Now, this may not matter so much to you now, but starting high school, it needs to, and it should be very important to you. 
all right? Your grade point average is basically this, I mean, very simple, the average of your cumulative grades at the end of each semester of school. Now, some of your courses are gonna have a higher weight than others, depending on if it's a regular versus an advanced or an AP class, all right? We'll talk about that a little bit. And we will break a lot of that down. When you guys come next year, we as the counselors will come into your classes and talk to you and really share with you and what that looks like and the importance of it. Now, your class rank is basically your standing in relation to all of the students within your class. Again, you can refer to the course catalog and student handbook for more specifics. I cannot stress to you all enough, and if you don't take anything out of here besides this, first day of school, freshman year, is when it counts. Because when you guys go and start applying to schools as a senior, you say, oh, what I did as a freshman, I should have. They see that. All your semester grades from freshman year are on that transcript. So when the colleges are looking, they're looking at that. So if anything, you have to be prepared and ready. And when we say that this is why it counts, when you start, that's why. Okay? So looking ahead, talk a little bit about eligibility, okay? If you, um, you cannot fail more than one course in order to be eligible for extracurricular. And when we talk extracurricular, I'm not talking just sports, okay? We're talking music um, groups, clubs, school-sponsored events, school dances, okay? This is very important. You don't want to have, a, you know, you don't want to have a hot date for one of the dances and then Mr. Schneider call you in and tell you you're ineligible and now you can't go and now you got to tell your date, sorry, but we're not going, right? Okay, so make sure that we're passing all your classes. Now, if you are interested in possibly playing college sports, okay, this is a great opportunity um, and you could go ahead and go onto this and create an account for yourself. So by doing this, what this does is you have an account, and what we as your counselor will do after the semester or each year, we, up, we have to upload your transcript. So if people are looking at you and looking for you, they will have access to your grades. Okay, so this is an opportunity that if this is something that's on your radar, you can go in and create an account. So we also have different diploma considerations. The Kentucky pre-college curriculum, which we spoke of earlier, there's a capstone diploma, and then there's the Highlands High School Advanced Curriculum Diploma. Again, more details about all of that is in our course catalog on our high school website. What is the AP capstone diploma? Okay, this is actually comes through College Board, and these are two AP classes that you would have to take here at Highlands. Okay, AP seminar is an English class that you would take your sophomore year. This class is wonderful and it will definitely get you prepared for the next phase of your education. It, it teaches you how to write, it teaches you how to present, it teaches you how to defend your, um, what you, what am I thinking, I'm thinking of my word. Um, but a lot of different pieces that when you get to that next level, if you take AP seminar, you will be successful. And then you can then take AP research, which teaches you how to research how to do those things, and you can take that either junior or senior year. You take that and these classes, and you can earn the AP Capstone Diploma, which is granted to you through College Board. Okay, we have the Advanced Curriculum, and we talked about that before when I broke down all of the different credits you can earn, plus the two foreign languages, okay? And then this is awarded and sealed on your diploma, and it is noted in the graduation program for everyone to see. But you have to have a minimum GPA of a 3.75, and then completion of two AP courses, and then also completion of advanced courses, but the AP does, can substitute for those courses, okay? We also have a wonderful program for um, all of our freshmen coming in, our freshman mentor program. So each one of you will receive a mentor, okay? We have upperclassmen here at Highlands, who will take you as their mentee. Now, this is to basically help you all transition into the high school. What does that look like? 
give you someone to be able to um, kind of have like a person that if you're having issues, need help with anything, they will be there to help you. So what does this kind of look like, okay? So late May, early June, they will send you a letter introducing themselves, okay? Getting to know, so you kind of get to know who your mentor is. They will also drop off a yard sign saying welcome to the nest so that everybody knows that you are a proud Highland student. And then in the summer, okay, freshmen, make sure that you guys reach out to your mentor. Hey, I got your letter so that they know that, you know, you are acknowledging that you have received that, you have met with them, maybe give them a little something about you so they can get to know you as well. Now, we have an August Transitions Day. This is typically a, little, a couple days before school starts, a great day where we come in um, and icebreakers, you go into mentor groups, you meet other students, and maybe you have never been going to school with them for a while, but you've never really kn you know, got to know them. We'll, have, we'll feed you lunch, we'll play games. It's a great day to kind of get yourselves ready. You'll get your schedule. We'll go through a scheduling game. You will go through all of your classes see who's in your classes, see your teacher. So then when you come in that first day of school, you feel comfortable and you're ready to go. And then in September and October, during the school day, you will have mentor meetings where you will meet with your mentor, go through some things, maybe you have questions, maybe you have concerns, okay? Talk about how we can still be successful at this level. So I am about finished myself, so I thank you all for your attentiveness and listening. Now I would like to pass it over to Mr. Bertasso, who is our high school principal, and he has a few things he would like to share with you. The fun stuff with COVID, isn't it? Uh, like she said, I'm Mr. Bertasso. I am the high school principal and also a uh, graduate of Highlands. I graduated back in 1997, a while ago. Um, but I'm excited to have you all here. You are the class of 25, which is pretty cool. Um, how many of you have a sibling that's graduated from Highlands? Okay. How many of your parents graduated from Highlands? How many of you have grandparents that have graduated from Highlands? Anyone with great-grandparents that graduated from Highlands? Still got a hand or two up? Okay, pretty cool. Highlands has a great tradition here, and, and families come to stay here. I, I, I was at an open house that we had a couple years ago. It was my first year here, back here at Highlands, and sitting down here in this front row uh, was a couple. They were coming to check out our schools, and I was standing in the back, and uh, our superintendent was talking to them. And they were discussing the, the different programs that we have and all the different options. And then they motioned that I was in the room and they you know, said hi to me and whatnot. And then the superintendent said, but wait, I, I didn't ask, how old are your kids? And they said, oh, um, our youngest is two, or our, excuse me, our oldest is two and we have one on the way and we're just trying to decide which place we should live so our kids can go to a good school. So there are parents, there are families that are thinking about where to go to school as early as before the kids are even born and they're thinking about Fort Thomas schools. And Highlands is the end of all of that. That's, that's what everyone works towards, is getting you through high school so you can move on to your next step. So I need a couple of uh, students to come up and help me. So first, uh, if you have a birthday in February, would you stand up? Birthday in February. Okay, got some over here. Uh, first half of February, so before Valentine's Day. Before Valentine's Day. Um, let's see, who's is, who's is the closest? Yours is today. Would you like to come up on stage? Come on up here. Big round of applause. Okay, and then I see a bunch of uh, blue basketball sweatshirts. Do we have an eighth grade basketball game today? Who are we playing? Ackerman, okay. Um, who is the sixth man? So who's the guy that gets subbed in first? Who's our sixth man? One of you two? Would you come up here? Should he come up? All right, you come on up, up here. Come on up here. Oh, you don't even play basketball. Come on up here. All right, come over here. What's your name? AJ. 
Say it in the mic so they can. AJ. AJ. Everybody say hi, AJ. Hi. Okay, come on over here. The sixth man's supposed to be ready to go, right? He's taking his time. I'm going to go with this is Gregory. I, I've never met him, but I, 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 he just looks like a Gregory to me. All right, so what's your name? Dominic. Dominic. You know your sweatshirt says Gregory? Okay, just want to make sure you knew that. Come on over here. All right, so we have Dominic and AJ. Okay, so you all do this with me in your heads, but they'll be the voice for everybody, all right? So we're going to do a little activity here first. So I need you two to think about the classes that you take, all right? AJ, you'll do the odd periods. Dominic, you'll do the even periods. But they start with two, okay? All right. So, AJ, what's first period? Social studies. Okay. Do you all have that in your head? What's your first period? Dominic? First period. Second period. Right? Engineering. Engineering, all right. Third period? Chorus. Fourth period? Uh, service studies. Fifth period? Advisory. Sixth period? Advisory. Seventh period? Language arts. All right, round of applause. Okay, now you've got to step a little bit further that way because we're not six feet apart. There we go. All right, we want to follow the rules. Now, Hopefully you all did that as well in your heads. Now think about your electives, okay? Those are the classes other than math, science, social studies, and English, all right? Turn to the person next to you and tell them what uh, elective you're taking, just one of them. Tell them. All right, back with me, three, two, one. All right, so we have AJ taking broadcasting and Dominic taking engineering, all right? I want you to think, as you're getting ready for high school, what is a class that you want to make sure you don't miss out on? Okay, and it can be a class or an area of study. Okay, think about that just for a second. What's something you want to make sure you don't miss out on, all right? Do you two have one? Okay, AJ, what, what do you not, you want to make sure you hit this class? Theater. Theater, okay, Mr. Burgess, all right? What's one class you, you just, you don't want to miss out on? I don't know. He doesn't know yet. Is there an area of study that you like? Do you like the engineering? No, not really. Okay. Uh, do you like athletics? Yeah. What about like a, a personal fitness maybe? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with per personal fitness, okay? So each one of you, turn to the person next to you and tell them a class you want to make sure you don't miss out on in high school. Go. Okay. Three, two, one. Thank you. All right. Now... Make sure when you do your appointment with your counselor that you tell them, I do not want to miss out on theater. Okay? So AJ's going to make sure her counselor knows, I do not want to miss out on theater. Can we make sure we put that in my four-year plan because I want to make sure I get as much theater or maybe just one course, whatever it might be. Okay? So that's one piece is make sure that they know what that non-negotiable is. Okay? Next, let's think about our math, science, social studies, and English. All right? Those are what we call our core classes. And you saw how many credits of those that you have to take. So think about those for a second. Do you want English or science? Pick one. Dominic has to do the other one. English. All right, AJ's going to do English. Think of a, a unit that you did in English. Any unit. It could be one that you like, didn't like. Just think of a unit you've done in English in middle school, okay? And Dominic, think of one that you've done in science, okay? Do you have, a, do you have one? All right, go ahead and tell us. Utopia versus dystopia. All right, utopia versus dystopia. How many remember that unit? Nice job, English teachers. Way to go. Okay, science. Any, anyone? Earth science. Earth science. Who's our, do we have an earth science teacher in here? No, was it? I don't know, seventh grade. Seventh grade, okay. Uh, is there a, a unit particular that stands out from that? No. Just the whole class, pretty good? Okay. So think about those classes a little bit. Which one of those, we've got English here, we've got science here, uh, dystopia, utopia, and earth science. Which of one of those do you feel like you excelled at? Like, it was easy to do, you enjoyed it, it was really easy to, to kind of get through. It could be both. Maybe it's one side, maybe it's the other. Okay? And then think about, go ahead and think about that just for a second and turn to your neighbor, tell them which, which one you thought was better. Okay. All right, back up here. Three, two, one. Thank you. So AJ said, uh, language arts, something she excelled at. Dominic said uh, science, right? Okay, so kind of cool we went that way. Make sure that your counselor knows that, 
All right, if there's a specific area like, hey, I really do well in English, I'd really like to you know, move forward, take more advanced courses in that, go for it, okay? Now, last thing, all right, what do you like to do, okay? So let's talk about that just for a second. What's something that you've done outside of school, all right? So an activity, uh, extracurricular, an athletic, uh, a community thing, anything that you've done outside of school. Can you name one? Uh, swim. Swim, okay. Dominic, do you have one? Basketball. Basketball. All right. Turn to your neighbor, tell them one thing that you've done outside of school. Okay, back up here. Three, two, one. All right. Now, think about how much time that takes. Think about how much time that takes. How much time do you think swim takes? Uh, I don't know, two hours over the summer? Two, just two hours, the whole summer, or two hours a week, or two hours a day? Two hours a day. Two hours a day, all right. And is it just during the summer? Okay, so not during the school year? Doesn't do it during the school year. Okay, Dominic, how much time does basketball take? Mm, like an hour a day. Uh, about an hour a day? Okay, some days longer if you have a game or something like that, but about an hour a day. So think about that for just a second. If you're taking, if you really enjoy that after school activity, and you're not going to have six hours a night to do homework or do something like that, you're going to want to think about that in your, uh, when, you, when you schedule your classes, okay? So turn to the person next to you and tell them what's your activity and how much time you think it's going to take you to do it. Go ahead. All right, back up here, three, two, one. Thank you very much. All right, last thing, last thing. When you meet with your counselor, if there's something you really enjoy after school that takes a lot of time, they need to know that. Because when you make your plan for your four year, you may not have enough time to take six AP classes, okay? You might have to say, you know what, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna take AP classes in the one area that I excel in, but then I want to do this after school activity. That makes you a well-rounded student, okay? Can I have a huge round of applause for AJ and Dominic? Yeah, happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to AJ. I won't make you sing. Okay, last thing. All of the things that you've heard today are important. Your GPA is important, eligibility is important, the right courses, uh, the diploma, AP, all those things are really important. But the most important thing for you to think about right now as you're getting ready to go into high school is, what do I want my high school experience to be? What area of study do I want to be in? Here's the cool thing. You might think you want to be something. Like maybe you're thinking, man, I want to be a veterinarian. I had a great student. She wanted to be a veterinarian. She wanted to be a veterinarian from the day she was four years old. Always wanted to be a veterinarian. She got into high school. We got her in biology and anatomy and physiology, and she was doing all these different classes. And then we got her an internship so she could go and work at a veterinarian's office, work with the animals, all this stuff. She did that for six weeks. She came back from it. She said, I'm not going to be a veterinarian. That was terrible. She hated it. But guess what she found out in high school? That's not what she wanted to do. And she went into business instead, and she's a great business. She's a, a, like 24 years old, owns a business. Awesome student. Those are the kinds of things you get to find out in high school, all right? So as you think about what you want high school to be, those are the, the types of things you want to you ask about, the classes you want to be in. Get signed up for those so that you make sure that you have the experience that you want out of high school. So when you leave, you leave ready for whatever happens next. And for some of you, that will be going on to college. For some, it will be going on to a career. Others, you might do a mission trip. Uh, you might take a gap year. You might have a job already lined up and you're ready to go, but you need that, that, that training and that preparation. There are certifications that you can get in high school so that you can go and start working right after high school. There are certifications that you can get that will lead you to more ex, um, uh, schooling afterwards. And there's so many great opportunities for you here at Highlands that a lot of schools just don't have. Make sure that you take the opportunity to be in arts or to uh, take uh, advantage of our broadcast and our journalism classes. There's lots of different things, lots of different avenues for you to do that. Your counselors will help you. Make sure you bring some of this stuff up in your little meetings so that you can get the right classes for you, all right? Big round of applause for the class of 25. Can't wait to see you next year. And I'll pass this back over for our wrap-up. Okay, 
If you guys could go ahead, get your uh, MacBooks out. And if you could go to survey.hhsbirds.com, the survey says you got it. All right. And if you guys would take a few minutes and answer that for us, so that when we sit down with you in your meeting, okay, we're going to have a little background, kind of know some more about you to help guide you in planning. Now this is about you, so there shouldn't be a whole lot of talking. It's not loading. How many are having difficulty? Okay. All right. So, plan B. If you guys could try to get this done before you come to your scheduled meeting, that would be perfect. Okay? So, just put this in notes in your MacBook, whatnot, survey.hhsbirds.com. Perfect, okay? We will send that on, and that will be through your advisory. Again, thank you guys so much for coming. We truly appreciate it. Again, parents, please do not forget to schedule your one-on-one -on -one meeting. There is the short link here as well. Have a great, e great day, kids.